Moving on, a former football player at Rincon High School is now making a name for himself worldwide as a famous comedian. Yes, Tucson native Roberto Rodriguez has gone from the gridiron to Tinseltown and is now one of the headliners for the nationally acclaimed Latin Comedy Jam. And it's making a tour stop in downtown Tucson this weekend. Rangers football, Rincon High School. That is where it all started for comedian Roberto Rodriguez. On Rangers purple and white, what, what? <laughs> From this, almost 20 years ago, to this. Roberto Rodriguez, everybody. Robert? Yes, Rodriguez is making waves worldwide as a comedian. Oh, it's the Latin comedy. With the Latin comedy jam. My mind's telling me no. But his roots began here at Rincon High School, where he spent this particular afternoon reminiscing about his playing days for the Rangers and Coach Lance Prickett. Uh, I'm excited to be back in my hometown, obviously here at my own high school. The diehard U of A fan and sports junkie takes pride in incorporating his athletic upbringing seen in some of these pictures into his comedy routine. I think the last winning season was in 77, which was the year I was born. Yes, by poking fun at his alma mater's well-documented sports struggle. <laughs> The team, unfortunately, was a joke that time, and I just figured, oh, well, I might just carry this on to a career. From Rodriguez landing movie roles and acting gigs to rubbing shoulders with an opening for world-renowned comedians such as Gabriel Iglesias, Cheech Marin, and Paul Rodriguez. Well, you know, as a Tucson kid, okay, we watched these comedians on TV. I grew up watching Paul Rodriguez and Million to Wine and all that stuff, so I got to perform with Paul. It's somewhat, you know, you try to act like you've been there before, like, yeah, Paul, yeah, you want a cigarette, you want a glass of water, and at the same time, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Paul Rodriguez, it's Paul Rodriguez. But don't let his modesty tell you otherwise. Never mind. Roberto is also hitting the big time, but still takes pride in where it all started, even if his beloved rink on high school football team took second fiddle to everyone including um, the chess club the band the most people came to watch the band because they put a good halftime show <laughs> so uh yeah we were kind of the the, the the they were like oh well, and here let's just let the football players come like everybody else had a booster club we didn't even have nobody to boost us up so boosting up <laughs> is what the class clown learned he'd have to do himself so it's cool to kind of come back and see where i've come from from tucson's barrio hollywood to the real Hollywood, the showbiz capital of the world. I think Tucsonans in general are just real people, real down-to-earth people, and that served me really well in my career. Not bad for a self-described scrub on the Rincon High School football team. I like that bounce, bounce with me, bounce with me. Still finding a way to entertain on the gridiron, <laughs> even if he is pushing 40, but still rising up. <laughs> Looks like he still has some athletic ability. For more on the Tucsonans, Local performance tomorrow. Just go to kvoa.com. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Kala for News 4 Tucson Sports. Have a positive, productive day filled with lots of joy.